This is Mike's Hard Limeade. Comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. A six pack will run you about $12. My 12 pack will run you about $18. It is a malt liquor, a limeade flavor, popularized by the uh, Dateline NBC show starring Chris Hansen. Um, I'm, there's a couple episodes where you would see the Mike's Hard Lemonade pop up back in the, I guess around the mid 2000s. You would see this. What, what's the stuff that people drink now? White Claws and uh, I don't know. There's 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 new like mixed drinks, but no one's. I don't think people are drinking the Mike's Hard like they used to. But again, a good a good Predator beer, I had suppose. I honestly can't remember if I ever had the original Mike's Hard. Um, so that means I certainly have not had the Limeade. But I, I love lemonade stuff. Lime, limeade. I love all that stuff. So I'm thinking I'll enjoy this. Again, 5%. That, that's a good percentage. Unfortunately, this is an 11... Um, it's, it's only an 11 ounce bottle, which like, come on guys, fucking seriously. Like, it's not that big of a deal while you're drinking it, but at the end of the night, you're going to be short a couple of drinks, so. Kind of scummy, honestly, let's, let's be real. Um, there's no real important information on the, on the side I see. Cold, hard, refreshing. Yeah. Back when I back when I was a real little feller, a real little guy, and I was I was very first starting out drinking. Um, I did have a couple of six packs of <laughs> Smirnoff Ice, um, just because I didn't really know any better, you know. So I, I had like Smirnoff Ice, and you know, when you know you have like zero tolerance, that it kind of does it for you. But at this day and age, I don't know how far this will take me. Either way, looking forward to it. Let's give it a go. All right, let's get a look at this in the good light. Um, a, a very, 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 very clear, hazy green, like... I don't know. You, you see this over here against the wallpaper. It looks like, you know, Slimer Ecto cooler stuff. But against actual light in the distance, like, it's it's almost see-through. Smell. It smells like those Popeyes you'd get in the summertime as a kid. You know, the stuff. You know, the little Popeyes. You know, you cut them with scissors. They're, they're super dirt cheap, or at least they used to be super dirt cheap. Um, delicious, delicious stuff. Um, I, yeah, no no foam or head or anything like that that I saw. Yeah, nothing there. It's Kool-Aid. Give it a taste. Woo! This is the first, you know, Smirnoff type drink I've had. And if I'm being honest with you, and I hate to say this, a couple of decades probably. And it's it's in the ballpark of, of what I remember. Very acidy. Very intense, a lot of bite, a lot of sugar. Not not bad exactly, but like you know, if you were to get a six pack of this as a grown up, it's gonna fuck your insides up really bad. That, that that's all there is to it. I know that's a downer. It's not a cool thing to say. Taste wise, it's okay. Would I ever in my wildest dreams buy this again? No, of course not. Um, I threw this into my build drone six pack today for shits and gigs. I do want to try the actual old school original Mike's Hard Lemonade. 
at some point. So expect that. But for this, yeah, st stick to the um, the frozen icy pop or something like that. Um, taste wise, it's it's very rich, very intense. Um, like it's not bad, but it's just so so intense and I can already tell just by a couple of sips if I were to be an absolute madman and try like a 12 pack of these I I would be I'd be in pain so oof, what do I give this what do I give this this is strange because it doesn't exactly taste bad but I'm aware of the danger so, because there's a lot of danger there, and danger, danger at the end of the day is what you do not want. <sighs> I'm going to give this one out of five. Do not get this. If you see a single, that, that, that's fine. That's, that's like maybe a, a three or something, Ta you know, taste-wise. But th this is this is just too dangerous. It's not good. Yeah, you're gonna want to avoid this. If if you if you, for some reason or you know take take my review seriously, and you trust in my reviews, I want to protect you as a viewer. And this guy right here is not good for you. One out of five.